100 years in the universe is like a blink of an eye. But the last 100 years in China was a giant leap. Believe it or not, it always starts with the simplest idea. To stand up, to survive. And it always takes the bravest to see the truth. In June 1936, American journalist Edgar Snow crossed the lines and reached the blockaded Red Area. Snow saw another China here. The land had been distributed to the poor rural villagers and so many cooperatives had been set up. During my seven years in China, hundreds of questions had been asked about the Chinese Red Army. Eager partisans could supply you with a stock of ready answers. Some people denied that there was such a thing as a Red Army. How did they know? They had never been to Red China. Snow was the first Western journalist to interview the Red Army and their leaders. The Red Army commanders customarily went into battle side by side with their men. Red officers often said, follow me, boys, instead of go on, boys. Casualties among Red officers were once as high as 50%. Obviously, the solution for China is the Chinese Communist Party and the Red Army. After four months of interviews, my uncle saw that the CPC was down to earth. They fought and worked for the Chinese people. The Polish journalist Israel Epstein returned to China in 1951 the third year of the founding of the People's Republic of China, and he saw a brand new world. This is the civilian world of New China. The Chinese people were incredibly driven to finish the first five-year plan. Villages in China's cotton-growing areas were festive during the sale season in 1951. The buyer for the people's government. Prices were good. How shall I describe Sichuan Tibet Highway? The Chinese people built it with their newly awakened energy. It zooms up from the plateau to heights of over 5,000 meters and dives down into the chasms of many great rivers. And to tell the truth, it's bone shaking. Through this newly completed highway, Epstein arrived in Tibet, where he witnessed the feudal serfdom abolished and Tibet thus entered an era of socialism. I'm Rick. On the radio in Hong Kong, and we're also heard in Shenzhen. In the early Speaking 1980s, Shenzhen, American radio DJ Rick found that a lot of his audience in Shenzhen requested a song, The Olive Tree. At that time, China's first special economic zone had just kicked off. I knew a lot of Chinese migrant workers came to Shenzhen from the north for a better life. And I was wondering, what are they building across the Shenzhen River? The most commendable of these changes is the Shenzhen speed of building one concrete floor in three days, which has become synonymous with Shenzhen as well as China's reform and opening up. China's reform and opening up is a valuable experience. The CPC has followed the path of socialism with Chinese characteristics. 
leading China to stride into a new era. In the past here, these people behind me, they never really had a chance to travel to other counties in their entire lives. British citizen Jason Lightfoot has been living in Guizhou for eight years. His blogs on social media show changes happening in rural areas of southwest China. The high-speed bullet trains, the normal trains, second-tier city, third-tier cities even have metros. The payment systems, I don't think I've seen, I don't think I've seen paper cash for about three years. I saw some young people gave up working in the city and came to Guizhou. They were mulling how to change the lives of local people day and night. In 2017, as a fight against extreme poverty was taking place across China, the CPC did everything possible to eradicate abject poverty in rural areas. Now their lives have changed for the better, and that is because of this huge, massive structure behind me. It has the world's tallest concrete bridge tower. Of the world's top 10 bridges, eight are in China, and five of those are in Guizhou. Locals say that Guizhou has changed from a mountainous region to a bridges region. Chen 向着全面建成社会主义现代化强国的第二个百年奋斗目标迈进 All these miracles started with the simplest idea to stand up, to survive to build everything from scratch, to seek a path of their own. A hundred years of experience tells all. Red Star over China. They kept their vows and embraced a new era. After the vicissitudes of life, the red star still shines.